Projector online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All right, guys. I'm in my Cataphract 3 Delta. I've actually set this up as a uh, sort of close range brawler, AC-20, four medium lasers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch some things up here. I want my primary to be my AC-20, secondary to be my lasers, lasers. I'm going to go ahead and group all of these into my third group. And then I'll even make a fourth where I can chain fire. I think that is good. The one thing I love about the Cataphract 3 Delta um, in this setup is the jump jets. It really, to me, distinguishes it from, away from like the Meramets. Um, even though I love the Meramets, and you can do this setup on the Meramets on the 3 Delta, um, that's the main difference is the jump jet capability. Just having that maneuverability. This is a standard 300 setup, for those that are wondering. I've only got uh, three tons of ammo. I could drop a, uh, you know, jump jet. I've got three out of four. I could could drop one. Oh, this is bad. This is gonna be rough. Going right down the middle. Let's see if this works here. Telling them to push and swing right. Nope, they're stopping. See, see that? No. Wanted to go this way. Going after Foxtrot. Down, going after Echo. He's almost down. He's down. Nice. Can I hit Charlie? Oh, I might shut down. Bad spot, bad spot. <laughs> it was a nice hit, though. Come on. Nope, he's dropping down. I've seen that set up a lot on the Blackjacks. Dual AC5s. I mean, I've used it before, and I actually do like it. But my BAME will be... This is my baby. wonder if this guy's sneaking out here. So that was an effective push through the middle. Obviously, you know, don't stop. If you're going to push through, push through. Commit. You know, a little bit of coordination. Just say everyone go right. Um, makes it hard. But don't just stop right at that... Uh, that precipice, right? Don't just just don't do it. Push. It's like this right here. It's like. Oh, hold on, let me uh. Suits, going on down here. And that blackjack's not having a good day. And he's down. Back up. I would say that's the biggest thing with this map. A lot of people um, hesitate. Um, they feel like if they're getting, well, and, and they're right. I can I can imagine you come to the top, you push in, and all of a sudden you're getting you know shot upon by you know 50 mech, you know 12 mechs. I can understand it, but you have people behind you, like you you have to you have to go. There is no option. All right, I'm just gonna play devil's advocate right here. There we go, all right, cool. It is nice if you double stack um, ECM too. And what I mean by that is if you have two atlases or uh, a DDC with another ECM mech, the DDC goes first with the other one behind it and that way you've got dual coverage. But it looks like we pretty much have this uh, sealed in the bag here. We are being hit on both fronts. I'm going to go to, looks like Epi, well, possibly. Target Let's see here. Acquired. Yeah, I'm going to go help out with Epi. It's so weird not hearing your mech um, run around. 
think it's a it's a known bug, but uh Alright, let's do this, use some of these jump jets. I find that I like Conquest on this map, um, just for the fact that, you know, lights and mediums can run around and be those harassers. It is definitely not my favorite map, just for the fact that I feel like, especially in pub play, everybody funnels right down, right down the middle. Um, and you know, that's, that's all right here and there, but oof, most of the time that is a death sentence. All right, so we're gonna go for this guy's right leg. He doesn't know it yet, but he's about to die. Spider right in front. Totally just missed it. Mirror spider. Best thing, I guess, with spiders, at least for me, usually is just lasers. I usually can't hit them. And that guy's dead. Alright, cool. So we got Epi back. Out of all the light mechs to hit with AC-20s, spiders, in my opinion, are the most difficult. Or when you do hit them, it doesn't detect. But Jenners, Locust, not a problem. Commandos, not a problem. Spiders, problem. All right, so we've got uh, one of them left. We do have three points. We are up. And we're hitting Sigma as well. So looking good. The nice thing too with the ballista card point on this is it is in your right torso. Uh, it's not the highest location, um, so you just have to be aware of that. If you're aiming over hills, you may hit the hill, may hit the berm if you will. Um, your lasers in your arms are low slung. Obviously you can see the ones in your torso are actually better off. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know a lot of people will put like, if they do large lasers on this, they'll put the large lasers in the torso just for that higher, uh, higher platform. Target acquired. Looks like we have a commando. Spider, chase him. All right, looks like he's committing. Might give me a chance to hit him. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and there we go. Judge Dread killed. <laughs> Swerve Driver. So I like this setup mainly again for the jump jets. Uh, didn't really play that much of, you know, benefit on this map per se. Uh, but on uh, Canyon Network, River City, uh, you don't play it a little bit of a part, but uh, obviously that C bill bonus uh, for premium, love it. And first one of the day, 4,500. I like it. Give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Live, the Outreach Studios around the world.